The famous linguist Stephen Krashen published a book called Free Voluntary Reading, and he claims that um, reading for pleasure in a foreign language may be one of the single most effective things that you can do in that language uh, to learn the language better. But it's not going to be effective if you don't do it in the right way. So in this video, I'm going to give you four steps that will allow you to take books that you actually want to read, read them in your foreign language, and make this an effective way to build vocabulary and learn your language. This channel is all about helping you learn how to learn languages in a way that's fast, fun, and easy. And I think that reading in foreign language is definitely going to make learning easier and way more fun. So the first thing you need to do if you're going to use books as an effective tool for learning languages is you need to find the right book for you. That means you're going to have to find books that are enjoyable to read. Here I have The Game of Thrones in Spanish, which I read because I like Game of Thrones. Maybe you like nonfiction books, so I bought uh, The 4-Hour Workweek in Spanish. We also need to find books that allow us to use comprehensible input, which means that you should be able to understand about 75 to 80 percent of what you're reading, but not everything, because if you already understand everything you're reading, it's not going to help you learn that much. If you're a brand, brand new beginner to your language, you might want to pick up some children's books because the vocabulary is super easy. It's not difficult at all to understand that this says one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Um, there's a gradient of children's book. This is The Little Prince, um, which is originally in French, but you can get this in any language, and I highly recommend it, because even though it's for children and it uses very basic vocabulary, it's actually really deep, and adults can enjoy this a lot as well. I also suggest graphic novels, because um, they give you pictures, um, but you'll never be lost as long as you can follow the pictures, and it's a great way for being able to follow along and learn in a foreign language. A few weeks ago I talked about using plays or anything, any kind of theater um, because they just use very short phrases and you always know exactly who's speaking and so you can watch that video that I posted a few weeks ago. I'm not going to go into detail here but plays are a great way. And more than anything else, the best kind of book that you can read is books that you're already familiar with. Here I have Harry Potter and French, Greek, and Spanish. Um, because these are all languages that I'm learning, and I loved the Harry Potter books when I was growing up, so I already know what's going on, and I can really understand from context or just from memory what's happening, even if I don't understand every single word. And that's a big help for comprehension and for building vocabulary. And another important thing to remember is that shorter books are usually better. You'll be more motivated when you see yourself progressing really quickly through the book, um, and then you can go back and read it again or you can move on to the next one and this is a big motivating factor. And the last step in finding the book that's right for you is where you're gonna get it. I find eBay to be the best place for getting used books because they're really cheap. I usually use Wikipedia to find the name of that book in the foreign language then I go to eBay and find the book. Um, and they can get shipped right to your door and you can't always just go to the bookstore and find the right book that you're looking for in a foreign language, unless you live in that country. Um, but eBay, you can get pretty much any book in any language. The second step in using books to learn a foreign language is you're just going to start reading purely for enjoyment, just because you like reading and because it's a story that's interesting to you. Then you're going to get yourself a colored highlighter. And every time you run into a word during the story that you don't understand, you're going to highlight that word. Now, it's very important that you do not stop to look up the meaning of that word. All you're going to do is highlight it. That way you can come back later and look up the definition, but you're not going to stop and take the time to do it while you're reading. You don't want to break the flow of your reading. And this is a really important exercise that's going to help you be comfortable with not understanding 100% of what you read. I mean, you have to get comfortable with that because you're not always going to understand everything. Now try to just highlight one or two words per page maximum, and preferably one every two to three pages. Um, you don't want to underline or highlight every single word that you don't understand. It's going to take too long and you're going to get overwhelmed. Once you finish reading through the book one time just for enjoyment, we're going to make a dictionary that is specific to you and to the book that you're reading. You're going to get an index card. And then you're going to make a glossary that you tape right to the front of the book so that it's always there for you to reference every time you read the book from now on. 
So to do this, you're just going to flip through the book. You're going to find every word that you've highlighted. Then you're going to go to wordreference.com or whatever website or app it is that you prefer to use for translating words. You're going to look up the highlighted words and then you're just going to write them on the index card along with their definition. Then you tape it to the front of the book and you'll always have this here as a reference every time you read through the book from now on. And the final step for learning a new language with books is you're just going to repeat steps two and three. But this time you have a quick reference to go to every time you run into a word you're not familiar with. And every time you get to a new word, you're going to remember that this is a word you're trying to memorize. Now, don't go immediately to the dictionary that you've taped to the cover of the book. What you're going to do is use this as a sort of mini quiz to test yourself and see if you can remember that word. These few seconds where you're actually exerting yourself trying to remember the meaning, it's proven that this short period of time is actually very beneficial in helping you remember that word in the future. So you're going to take a minute, try to remember the word, and if you absolutely can't, then you flip to the beginning of the book and that's when you look at your dictionary. And of course, as you read through the second time, you're going to get yourself a different color highlighter. And when you're done with the book, you're going to make yourself a second dictionary um, that you'll also tape to the cover. Read through this book three or four times and you should be able to understand every single word in the entire book. And if you think about it, this book took me several months to read and there's a lot of words in here and I'm just able to understand all of them now because I've used this method. So thanks a ton for watching my video. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or any suggestions for the other language learners on this channel, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Otherwise, be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching my video. We'll see you guys next Monday.